Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir, dit le président. The court is now back in session. I hand over to the prosecution to continue uh, his line of questioning. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, witness, when we left off, your answer, the last answer was that uh, Nat told you in uh, November or December 1975 that um, there were seven members on the standing committee. Que cette personne siégeait au comité Can you now tell the permanent. court when Chuck was arrested and taken to S21? Chuck a été arrêté et envoyé à S21. I could not recall it. Réponse, je ne me souviens pas. The uh, record, the entry record of Chuk was available in a document left Les from uh, S21, and uh, his name, uh, Chuk, was Chuk, no, alias Chuk, uh, was, Chuk no. or alias Chaip, alias Chuk, uh, was alias Chaip. actually available in the donc, prisoner's uh, list, oui, les dates who was masked. Ont été éliminés et dans les documents provenant de S21. Thank you. Can you say whether it was before, um, si during 1975 or after 1975? Can you particularize it to that, or do, can you, do you not know it? Vous de nous donner de telles précisions, ou vous ne savez tout simplement pas? Atto. Respond. Bon. My apology, I Réponse. could not get through the translation. Désolé, je pas saisi I don't know what uh, you said about that. Could you please repeat your question? Répéter? I understand that you may not know the date question. that Chuck was arrested. Vous ne vous but can you say whether it was in 1975 or after 1975? Are you able to do that? If you can't, just if you don't know, you can just say that you don't know. Response. Réponse. Thank you. It Merci. was after 1975, sometime between in 1977 or late 1976. Thank you. When, when the, after the, the phone call uh, with Son Sen in relation to Chuk, Après did que you Son hear Sen, uh, later um, from Son Sen, Son Sen concernant Sen, Chuk? Any information about what was decided with his upper? I think we said with his uh, brothers. Ce qui avait été décidé, je crois qu'il vous avait dit qu'il avait dit. Respond. Parler de décision de ses Thank frères. Thank after Réponse. the meeting, uh, Sun Sen told me Après la réunion, that Pol Pot Sun had Sen asked him to. Pol Pot read a document proffered by S21 after reading for a short period of time. Then uh, Pol Pot asked how many percent could we uh, consider Chuk as enemy since they said 50-50. Quel est le pourcentage de probabilité que Chuk est un ennemi Sun Sen aurait répondu 50-50. Uh, Sun, Sun Sen said, uh, Pum, Sun Sen uh, said abruptly that it was 100% enemy. Uh, Chuk was 100% uh, enemy. Then I asked Chuk était, uh, ennemi à 100%. Uh, Sun Sen. Donc, and then he told me that uh, Deutsch, Sen, when I say 50-50 in politics, it was 100%. Uh, so that was what uh, was decided uh, in that uh, standing committee meeting at that time. And you said Pim. What, what was Pim's full name? Vous avez dit Pim. Qui était Pim? Quel était son nom complet? Uh, response. Réponse. It was Sao Pim, Sao Pim, Secretary of the East Zone, Secretary of the Zone, the direct Est. or immediate superior of Chuk. Et qui était le supérieur direct de Chuk. Thank you. You said that there were Question. four levels um, to the Central Committee, and you've explained 
three of them. Vous vous en avez you had, you had uh, one level being an assistant, assistant, uh, assistant um, to the committee, assistant to the committee, uh, candidates to the central Ensuite, committee, candidate au comité central, and the central puis uh, standing committee. Le comité permanent du comité central. What was the fourth Quel level? Le niveau? Response. Response. It was not the last. Non, ce pas le Above the candidate uh, oui. committee was Après the le comité uh, full right candidate, il y avait le central committee. Central où les membres de plein droit du and then above this full right central committee was the standing committee. Thank you. If we uh, look at the statute at um, Je vous remercie. Article, article 25, le statut, article 25. It states that Il the Central Committee must hold ordinary meetings once every six months to examine, examine monitor and deliberate all old work de in every field des and to bring up new work in every field. Et de planifier les nouvelles tâches dans tous les domaines. My question for you is, did the, did the Central Committee meet once every six months, do you know? How often savez -vous si did the Central Committee se, meet? Se se à tous if you les can mois, say. Ou, à quelle fréquence, sinon, si vous êtes en mesure de répondre. Arcon. Response. Thank you. Réponse. This question is beyond my Merci. knowledge. Je ne sais pas. Are you able to say how long how often Question. the standing committee pouvez -vous dire met? Combien de temps duraient les réunions du... Pouvez-vous nous dire quelle était la fréquence des réunions du comité permanent? I can recall the actual réponse. learning uh, there was a training course annually sometime between uh, July or oui. June or July. So whenever the Central année, Committee juin, met, donc, uh, Sue made, made and Brother Mate and Brother Mut also attended uh, this Mette meeting. And then after the meeting, uh, Sun Sein would uh, se continue to train us. Après, ses and those La formation. Two brothers I just mentioned uh, did not attend the training uh, Sun Sein conducted, so I thought uh, they would have attended the training de, with the standing of the Central Committee. So that Donc was the uh, uh, practice in 1960. Uh, Normally the members of the Central Committee would attend the training sometime in June or July Donc, and juillet, at the convention of uh, Pol Pot. Central participate in formation organized by Pol Pot. Do you know how many members of the Central Committee um, didn't live in Phnom Penh? Savez vous combien de membres du comité central ne n'habitaient pas Phnom Penh? Response. I don't know. But all secretaries of the zone were members of the Central Committee. However, Saupem was the secretary of the East Zone, was the deputy secretary of the Central Committee. Ong Chun, the former secretary of the South West Zone was the Deputy Secretary of the Central Committee. So I think uh, in Phnom Penh there were five central. members Donc, and others were from across the country. Thank you. And can you explain the relationship? Question. Do you know the relationship between the Standing Committee and the Central Committee? 
entre le comité permanent et le comité central. Response. Réponse. My explanation of this, of this relationship was as follow. Secretary of all zones across the country les secrétaires de toutes les zones du pays were members of the Central Committee du comité central. and they were under the order of the Secretary and the First Deputy Secretary of the Central Committee. Leurs ordres, leurs ordres du et As du for premier understand, secrétaire adjoint members du of standing committee, they had uh, their respective uh, portfolios. Leur for example, Ingsari, uh, his Yang portfolio was uh, with uh, foreign affairs. He uh, established relations with uh, Leninist donc, uh, movement and states. Sun Sein was Sonsein in charge of uh, internal security and uh, military. Wen Wei was in charge of economic Vette, affairs. So they had uh, their économiques. respective portfolios. Chacun des membres avait son portefeuille. The uh, Central Committee and the Standing Committee, can you say which of those committees had more power or more authority? Are you in a position to know that? êtes-vous en mesure de répondre à cette question? Response. All power was concentrated in the hands of the secretary of the party, namely Pol Pot. But at the same time, Nguyen Chia was working alongside with Pol Pot. Whenever Pol Pot was busy, then uh, Nguyen Chia would take his place. And whatever was decided by Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia had to uh, follow up. So it was actually the power was centered uh, in the hand of the suivre. secretary and et deputy secretary. Le secrétaire et le secrétaire adjoint du parti qui avait le pouvoir. Secrétaire adjoint étant Nguyen Chia. And if I can show you document IS.63, le document and I'd like you to have a look at that document. Look at the content of the document. Look at the subject matter in the document and look at some of the individuals that are named in the document. And I would like to, if you're familiar with those individuals or some of those dates, I would like to ask you some questions about, about those individuals if you'd be able to assist the chamber. I have a hard copy of the document. The president. Le président. There is an objection by the une, defense council. Défense, uh, so, council, you may proceed. La est à la yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Sorry Mr. for interrupting again. I, I don't Monsieur want to sound like a broken record. De, de, but fois, the prosecutor has uh, uh, promised before also today that um, uh, he would ask follow up questions. We would really like to know. Le procureur a dit qu'il poserait des questions de suivi. Nous aimerions savoir sur quoi fonde, enfin sur quoi le témoin fonde sa réponse. Il fait de grandes remarques, des déclarations générales. Nous voudrions savoir s'il le sait, est-ce que c'est parce qu'il a lu quelque chose et nous savons qu'il a rédigé un article récemment, ou était-ce des connaissances qu'il avait à l'époque Ask the prosecutor to Je, follow up with la chambre à demander au procureur de poser certaines questions sur les sources. L'accusation la, doit poser les, les bases et demander au témoin d'où il tire de tels renseignements. Your Honor, the, the purpose of uh, placing the document before the witness is to see whether or not um, juge, some of the individuals in that document that are named, whether he can assist the chamber si in understanding their roles other than what's placed in the document. document. It's also to uh, 
um, ask the witness to look at um, some of the order. subject matter in the document to see whether that subject matter is consistent with what he si believes to be the truth document, at the time, and that will certainly um, assist in your honours in authenticating the document and uh, understanding document. whether or not um, this document is in fact authentic. Si There's certain si language that's used in the document that the witness, um, I would ask the witness whether or not that's consistent with the language that was used dans le um, by, si cela, by, um, by party members at the time. And uh, there are some particular um, dates and personalities I would like to ask the witness about. Um, it would be easier, of course, um, if uh, that um, information is uh, placed placed in front of him Il rather bien than sûr plus um, de lui speaking to him uh, without the document in front of him. Mettre le document sous les yeux plutôt que de lui poser les questions sans qu'il l'ait. The president, Council Carnavas, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President uh, and your honors. Monsieur Monsieur le Président, and, uh, Madame, Monsieur le Juge, to everyone in and around the courtroom. Tous. It's uh, my understanding that the gentleman in, in bon, speaking with the co-investigative judges indicated in one of his statements, I don't have it in front of me, but I do recall reading it very recently, that he had never seen this document until uh, he came uh, to this facility. So he was not aware of it at the time it was generated. And therefore, now showing him the document and asking him to explain what is in the document, I think, is uh, not appropriate under the circumstances. With respect to having the gentleman talk about certain individuals that may be named in the document, de, I see no reason why the document needs to be shown to the gentleman. He can simply be asked who is so and so. Please explain if you know this person and if so how. So, <clears throat> again, there are matters, that, there, are, there are ways of discussing what's in the document, de uh, if properly put document, to the witness, without necessarily si showing the document to the witness, because this is not just some ordinary document. document and as I've indicated, he's already in, he, he's told the um, co-investigative judges that he had never seen the document at the time. And that's why I object to uh, this way, uh, way of conducting business, not just with, with this document, but with Pas other documents. Avec ce document, mais avec tous les so the prosecution will say they're at a disadvantage. Well, let me help que, them out. Uh, they can certainly ask about contents that's in the document, and there may be others contenu, that will be able to come here and discuss the document or the events. Venir ici that, in my opinion, is document, the proper way of proceeding. Selon moi, la bonne façon de faire. And he's not in a position to authenticate the document. Pas du tout en he may be de, able to be in a position document. to discuss some of the matters that in a document, but it doesn't need to be shown the document abordés, pas and have it in montrer. front of him in order to discuss what may Pour be substance in the document. Thank you. De son contenu. Merci. The president, President Council for Nunji, you may proceed. Um, my computer is not working properly, my screen is not working properly, I can't see the document yet. My objection was not against the showing of this document, it was against the, uh, the, the lack of a follow-up question. The witness gave all a lot of information about various members of the Central le, le Committee vient juste de donner toute and that their responsibilities were. And I think it is, as I said earlier today, it is the professional duty of the, the, the prosecutor to come up with a, a follow-up questions, ask this particular witness what this information is based on. Um, I don't want this information to be based on documents which uh, the witness has read recently in his own case file. Que le, a and the prosecutor, as I said, has promised on several occasions that they would ask us follow-up questions. I'm still waiting for the, uh, the question with uh, regards to uh, uh, the, the, the various members of the, the presidium. Par exemple, nous attendons toujours que l'accusation pose des questions et demande aux témoins d'où ils tirent ces renseignements. The international co-prosecutor may proceed. Thank you, Your Honour. Um, I, I think the, the main issue, and, and certainly the, 
um, what we took away from the test that Your Honours gave Bien, ce que the other day in de, um, du, uh, putting documents to, to witnesses is that there needs to be a um, sufficient familiarity et with il faut the que documents le or the subject matter or the issues uh, contained in the document before le sujet, um, a document uh, is put to a witness. And uh, we understand avant, uh, the reason for that because um, it would otherwise sinon, um, lead the witness just to repeat information that's contained in the document. So we're certainly not asking to do that. What we are asking, and we can um, have a few more follow-up questions, is that if a, if a witness questions. has a sufficient Car familiarity or si sufficient a relationship with matters um, that are contained in the document, whether that be uh, an understanding of uh, the type of language that's used in the document, whether it be an understanding in the, the form that's used in the document from that period, or whether it be um, an understanding of events that are contained in the document and the witness can provide further information or personalities or dates. Um, that's why that's, that would be the basis in which uh, we would submit it's appropriate to put voilà. a document to a witness because they won't be simply repeating the information. Um, they will be providing further information as to um, uh, understanding um, the, the relevance of the document, uh, the probative value, and, and the authenticity. I mean, Your Honours have heard uh, many times at the document hearings that um, these documents are, aren't authentic. The prosecutor should be making submissions as to authenticity of doc the documents. Uh, we, we weren't there during the period. We're not in a position to understand whether the, all of the different nuances, the context of the document, um, would lend itself to uh, making the document appear to be uh, more reliable than less reliable. Um, what we are saying, when we do have an opportunity with the witness to to be able to provide extra value um, in terms of understanding whether it's authentic or not, and extra information to the court in relation to particulars that are raised in the document, um, we would submit that that, that is the uh, import of the rule that was put before the chamber. Um, if the witness has nothing further to add um, on the document, it will be very, uh, very obvious. Si le témoin n'a rien d'autre à ajouter honest, à propos de ce document, we would submit voilà, that, um, that sufficient nexus between uh, the witness's understanding of the Et document, even if they haven't seen it before, entre, um, that really is la... the rule at the international courts. Um, and perhaps, et le whilst I have uh, the floor, if I can quote dans les um, a couple comme of cases, uh, and uh, pour it's citer at affaires. the international courts, it has been allowed where the witness has a direct knowledge of the contents of the document um, or some aspects of the document that the document is shown to the witness. And that can be established first with a few questions. Um, secondly, if the, the witness has um, direct knowledge of uh, persons or events contained in the document to be able to further elaborate the chamber as to what those persons um, and the events, the appearance of them in the document, what that means, so exemple, that we don't get to the end of the, end of the case, the final personne. submission, and uh, the defence and the prosecution are um, extrapolating or, or trying to conclude what all that material means when we have a witness here right now that, uh, fin, if there's a sufficient basis, faire, can provide that extra là, understanding. Si um, whether that's uh, accepted or not, it's a matter for your honours. And it can be obviously examined by the defence. Perhaps if I just, for the record, just quote um, a couple of cases. Si These cases are hard to find, Your Honours, because uh, often um, affaires, uh, 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 decisions in relation to um, these types of issues are not in full decisions. Um, but they're actually decisions. within the transcripts. And I'd just like uh, to refer your honours to the, uh, the case of uh, uh, the prosecutor versus Seychel. It's on the 2nd of February 2002. Uh, ICTY case, a Yugoslavia uh, case, where it stated that the witness has never seen this document, that's for sure. This is the judge. Document, ça, but the document the mentions a number of items which you will see, which cross-references cross what he said before. Le document, Let the prosecutor put the question, uh, and during your cross-examination, you'll be able to provide counter-evidence. 
On looking at the document, this is the judge, I can see there are some paragraphs dit, which coincide with what the witness has said already. And it goes on further, as the trial chamber concluded in a written decision, uh, the witnesses to testimony served to support the admission of the document because it spoke to the relevance, uh, reliability and probative value. Um, there's further decisions um, in relation to uh, prosecutor versus Kreisnik from the 24th of June 2004, at pages 4,292. Um, the prosecutor versus Labanga, an oral decision from the International Criminal Court, the 27th of May 2009, at page 3. There are, there are other decisions um, in the same the line, line Your Honour, and basically the, uh, the test seems to be at these Et courts if the witness has um, si an ability to be able to explain, understand um, events, uh, dates, people, or the nature of the document to the court. It's not whether um, they have seen the document before. Um, but it's whether uh, they have an abili ability to add value to the evidence, not repeat it, but add value, rather than, um, at the end of the case, um, the counsel for all parties uh, simply stating, this is what this document means, and this, uh, this means that. Um, we would submit that uh, this witness is in a uh, particularly uh, unique position to be able to understand the language used, um, the substance of it, um, people described in it, and provide further information. So, Your Honor, that, that is why we would ask that we'll be able to place the, the document for the witness because we think it's consistent with uh, general standards um, and, and we, we believe it will assist the chamber and certainly uh, the purpose is not to lead the witness to give evidence that it uh, wouldn't otherwise know. Just, just a word, a short word. President, uh, Lead call lawyers for the civil party, you may proceed. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Um, we are facing two quite distinct objections from the respective counsel for Mr. Ingsuri and Mr. Nunchia. In response to the first one from Mr. Sorry, in, in response to the objection before the court by Mr. Ingsari's counsel, and following on from what my learned friends, the prosecutors, have said, I think we must remind ourselves that we are in the civil law system, and it is really a matter of weight for Your Honours to put to the evidence adduced from the placement of the document before the witness. In relation to counsel for Mr. Nunchi's objection, de, de if par la defense de defense Nunchi. counsel has no objection to placing the document before the witness, si la pas then le in my submission, the reliability of the evidence that the witness could give in relation to matters de la uh, which, which sur as the prosecutor has said, might add value to the evidence contained in the document is a matter that defence counsel could simply put in cross-examination. Those are the part two de la part very de brief de comments that I have. Défense. Voilà les commentaires que j'avais à faire là-dessus. The president counsel for Kyosan. La parole est maintenant à la défense de Kyosan. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voulais simplement ajouter aux objections qui ont été formulées par mes confrères de la Défense que je crois savoir que ce document a fait l'objet de, de contestations euh, et qu'il n'a pas encore été statué par votre Chambre euh, sur euh, sa recevabilité. Euh, raison qui, selon moi, s'ajoute euh, à celles qui ont été indiquées par mes confrères pour qu'il ne soit pas présenté euh, ce jour aux témoins to conclude that at this stage it should not be put before the witness. Thank you, Mr. President.
The President, after the deliberation, the Chamber would like uh, to now hand over to Chacha Silva Cartwright la juge Sylvia to Cartwright um, say something on this. She may proceed. Va fournir des explications. Thank you, President. La juge uh, last week, Merci, uh, a very similar objection passée, was um, ruled upon by the Chamber. A de la the rule is that the, any party la may put a document to uh, a witness a and ask if the witness uh, has seen this document previously. If the answer to that is si no, then the non, document should be removed physically from the witness, because otherwise it might témoin. be suggested that he is reading sinon, answers from the document. Dire and que le témoin aurait pu lire uh, les so the document must be removed physically. Donc, that does not prevent any retiré. party from Cela asking the witness questions les parties de poser concerning des questions the subject au témoin matter au of the document. Du thème du document. Uh, and uh, when it comes to uh, objections of this nature again, uh, if there are any further objections of this nature, nature the Chamber si reminds the other parties that they avancées, will have their opportunity to examine this witness. Uh, and may raise these issues should they wish to do so. Uh, I, has, uh, I do not use the word cross-examine. Uh, it is not in that context. I am saying that each party has the opportunity to examine the witness uh, when their turn comes round. Uh, and so the uh, objections are... Um, uh, are uh, the objections are not sustained. La Chambre rejette donc ces objections. Thank you, uh, uh, Your Honour and uh, Mr. Merci, President. Madame la juge, Monsieur le Président. Uh, witness, um, do you have the document in Témoin, front of you? It's IS.63. IS.63. The President, the court officer is now instructed to bring the document to the witness. d'audience de remettre ce document au témoin. Witness, can you have a look at that document Le -procureur, témoin, and see whether, you're, see whether you have read that document, document before? Si vous lu dans le passé. <coughs> Réponse. Response. This document was put uh, to me by co-investigating judges during the investigation phase, and I already durant reported or responded to the co-investigating judges. Et donné and during my testimonies before the chamber previously, I also based my testimonies on the document before me au sujet as well. De ce document. Can you read the title of the document and the date? And then I have some questions to ask of you in relation to some matters contained in the document. Sur certains aspects de la teneur du document. The president, uh, witness, uh, should uh, hold on and counsel uh, you on your feet. You may proceed. La parole est à la défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President faire une objection à la poursuite de l'interrogatoire par le procureur. Il me semble qu'en application de la règle qui vient d'être énoncée par Madame le juge Cartwright, la présentation, enfin le document dont il s'agit n'était pas connu du témoin à l'époque des faits, mais l'a été 30 ans plus tard dans le cadre d'interrogatoire judiciaire. Et à partir de là, je, je ne vois pas pourquoi est-ce que le procureur se croirait autorisé à poursuivre euh, ces questions dès lors qu'il apparaît que la règle qui a été posée par votre chambre d'une connaissance euh, non pas simplement par le passé mais d'une connaissance à l'époque des faits de ce document, eh bien cette règle euh, n'est pas, les conditions de cette règle ne sont pas réunies 
À partir de là, euh, il me paraît que euh, le document ne peut pas euh, faire l'objet de l'interrogatoire que M. le procureur s'apprête pourtant à mener, semble-t-il. The President of the National Council for Kyung Sung Pond, you may proceed, uh, Council Kung Sum On. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours. I would like to add on top of what my colleague just indicated, and with reference to what the prosecutor indicated, he asked the witness whether he had ever seen this document before. Witness could have been misunderstood. Uh, could could have uh, mistaken for the question, for example, had he seen this document before? Before here means before uh, 1975, or before the co-investigating judges en 1975, uh, or before or before he uh, came here to the court, or before he 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 came here Uh, international co-prosecutor, if you would wish to respond to uh, what has been raised by the counsel for the uh, defense, defense uh, for, for Kyosampan, you may proceed. Um, thank you, Your Honor. The first couple Merci. of things, the, the document um, has been admitted le document as, um, and I've just been provided the number E3, recevable. Uh, le document 1, 2, e um, and even if that wasn't the fact, Obviously, Même uh, any si ce pas aspect le cas, of authentication that this witness could assist with would, would obviously be uh, si valuable to the chamber. Aider um, in relation to the ruling, il at this stage, and, and perhaps we would still like to address the chamber fixée. at another time nous about authenticating tard, documents which witnesses haven't seen, but are in a, a privileged que les position pas to do vu, so. But mais perhaps we will raise at another time. But our understanding is the ruling certainly for the moment is that um, if the witness has read the document before, whether in fact it's actually during the period or, or at a later time, um, the witness can still refer to the document. And, and perhaps in, in particular in this case, um, as uh, my friends uh, would know from the case file, from the statements, um, this witness has been able to um, elucidate on different aspects of this document uh, rather than just simply repeat the contents. Um, the concern about uh, repetition of information from other sources is a concern for the prosecution as well as the defence. But the, the written records of this witness show that he can add value to the content of this document of which is not contained in the document that helps corroborate uh, the reliability and the probative value of it. But certainly our understanding is that the ruling at this stage relates to whether or not um, the witness has actually read the document before um, rather than uh, read the document before at the time. Perhaps we'd like to address this at another time. Uh, as well, but that's, that's the ruling that stands at the moment, Your Honours. Nous allons y revenir, mais c'est comme ça que nous interprétons la décision prise par la Chambre. Oui, rapidement, Monsieur le Président, il me semble que la règle qui a été énoncée par Madame Cartwright était que si le document n'était pas connu du témoin à l'époque des faits, la partie qui souhaitait euh, utiliser ce document pouvait bien évidemment poser des questions sur les thèmes qui sont abordés par le document afin de vérifier si les réponses du témoin correspondent avec le contenu euh, du dit document, mais qu'en revanche, il n'était pas possible euh, de soumettre et de tâcher, de tenter euh, de faire authentifier un document directement en le présentant au témoin comme s'il était capable d'authentifier un document qu'il ne connaissait pas à l'époque des faits. Je me trompe peut-être, et à ce moment-là vous nous le direz, mais il me semble que c'était le sens parfaitement logique de ce qui a été indiqué par Madame le juge Cartwright.
le président la parole est à la défense de Nunchia. Merci beaucoup, très brièvement. Très rapidement, c'est que l'audience est bientôt finie. Pendant que nous avons eu ce débat, j'ai vu que le témoin a pris connaissance du document, ce qui vient contredire l'objet même de la décision, à savoir qu'il fallait éviter que le témoin puisse prendre connaissance des informations en question. Oui, Monsieur le Président, votre Chambre vient de fixer une règle qui s'applique aux parties en matière de présentation de documents aux témoins. Mais euh, quand j'entends dire que, euh, puisque ce document a été présenté par un juge d'instruction, il n'est pas possible d'en discuter aujourd'hui, je crois que nous faisons fausse route. Cette règle que la Chambre a posée s'applique aux parties. Elle ne s'applique évidemment pas à ce qu'a pu faire un magistrat dans le cours de son instruction. Or, ce témoin vient de nous indiquer qu'il avait eu connaissance de ce document, non pas à l'instant, mais pendant l'instruction. Je pense par conséquent que nous pouvons parfaitement discuter de ce document aujourd'hui. Ce que fait le juge d'instruction n'est pas soumis aux règles que la Chambre pose ensuite à l'égard des parties. Donc il n'y a pas de difficulté, il n'a pas pris connaissance du document maintenant, il a discuté de ce document avec le juge d'instruction. Je précise d'ailleurs de mémoire que je me rappelle avoir lu dans le transcript de l'appel la, de concernant M. Doubs que celui-ci évoque cette décision du comité central dans la déclaration qu'il a faite à cette époque-là au mois de mars. Par conséquent, il n'y a pas de difficulté, ce n'est pas un nouveau document que les procureurs présentent aujourd'hui. Le Président, merci beaucoup. According to Maître, our observation, there could have been misunderstanding in the uh, rendition into the three working languages concerning the ruling. Des discordances dans there, les différentes the langues de travail pour ce qui est de to the la décision rendue. Unless the document had been seen or si un document n'a jamais été known, vu During the democratic par le témoin Kampuchea, ou connu du témoin or during à l'époque du relevant Kampuchea period, démocratique uh, as, uh, ou bien à l'époque pertinente, telle que précisé dans l'ordonnance de that, clôture, unless, uh, he had this knowledge before he came to give testimony before the si court, le témoin n'avait pas ces connaissances avant de venir déposer devant la chambre, put, alors uh, le document pouvait être présenté au témoin. Or interpretation, From Judge Cartwright, Or, I lorsque did not la hear juge Cartwright a apporté ses explications, en Khmer, je n'ai pas entendu dire que known by le document witness, était un document qui avait pu uh, être vu And par le indeed, témoin durant la période du Cambodge démocratique. Over the Nous floor avons déjà donné la judge, parole uh, à la juge Cartwright pour uh, préciser les choses sure et pour nous assurer que ceux qui écoutent l'anglais puissent bien comprendre I la décision. Je vais peut-être rendre la parole à la juge Sylvia Cartwright um, on this afin de repréciser les choses. For one more time.
Le président Cartwright, vous pouvez Madame la juge Cartwright, je vous en prie. The, um, la juge Cartwright confirme que sa décision ne doit pas être interprétée to the comme witnesses knowledge étant limitée à la connaissance period of democratic Durant la période du Kampuchea démocratique, seulement on peut demander au témoin s'il a vu le document dans le passé. Before, et si tel n'est pas le cas, alors le témoin ne saurait nullement authentifier le document, raison pour laquelle ceci devrait être retiré. L'authentification le document n'est pas nécessaire dans le cas présent, chamber, car le document a déjà été witness. produit au débat, même si cela n'a pas été fait par And le biais de ce témoin. La connaissance préalable du témoin peut être expliquée par le témoin so et examinée plus avant par les parties, comes. le cas échéant, so le retour venu. Uh, par conséquent, l'objection est rejeté. Le président, the president uh, international co prosecutor Je you may proceed with the questioning. Le procureur national pour la poursuite de l'interrogatoire. Um, thank you, honors. Le procureur, uh, merci honors, madame messieurs les juges. Just before I proceed, um, there is one Avant aspect de continuer. of uh, of the ruling il y a un aspect um, which, um, de la décision we, the would like to address, um, que nous souhaiterions time, aborder uh, peut-être allons nous le faire ultérieurement well, et peut-être que les autres parties the devraient we'll avoir l'occasion aussi d'en parler ruling, car cette question va like, certainement uh, surgir um, bien souvent. Uh, nous week aimerions week la semaine prochaine raise, ou plus tard um, avoir l'occasion d'aborder un aspect bien précis de cette règle. C'est une demande que je vous adresse et qui concerne le début des audiences de la semaine prochaine. Entre temps, je vais continuer mon interrogatoire. Témoin, avez-vous sous les yeux le document Réponse, yes, I do. Thank you. Oui. And can you Can you read out? Um, have you read that? Have you read that document before? Est-ce que vous avez lu ce document auparavant? Response: I have read the document. I have lu ce document. Also wrote, quoting some part of this document in my appeal. également cité certains passages dans mon appel. Thank you. The Question. title of the document uh, is the decision of the central committee regarding a number of matters um, dated the 30th of March 1976. And then the first item of the document states um, the right to smash inside and outside the ranks. De décider de l'exécution au sein et en The question I have for you is that after the 30th of March 1976, was there an increase in killings from what you could observe at S21 or arrestees coming in to S21? D'après ce que vous avez pu savoir, par le nombre de personnes arrêtées qui arrivaient S21. Réponse. Response. I already talked about this. J'en ai déjà parlé avec les coaches d'instruction. Il s'agit du document du 30 mars 1976. Six, uh, Avant the le 30 mars 1976, smashed le PCK outsiders. a éliminé But after that, they started to smash people des gens inside qui n'appartenaient pas au parti. Mais par la suite, on a commencé à éliminer des gens qui appartenaient au 
partie même, y compris des membres et des membres de leur famille. Et j'ai dit que je pense que c'est un homme qui a été tué. Davantage de personnes ont été tuées avant le 30 mars 1976. Question, ai-je bien entendu Vous avez dit que plus de gens avaient été tués avant le 30 mars Réponse. Réponse. C'est ce que je pense. Question. Concernant le nombre de détenus et d'exécutions S21, ça a été d'au moins 12 000 personnes. Quand ont-ils When did those killings start to increase intensity in intensity at S21? une intensification des exécutions S21. Response. Réponse. At S21, we did not have a separate à S21 statistics. Uh, the more than 12,000 Prisoners massed at S21 was uh, compiled since uh, NATO was uh, Les statistiques uh, in pas uh, control ventilé. of uh, the Le nombre de 12 000 office. Personnes, and ce sont les statistiques telles qu'elles ont été recueillies depuis l'époque où c'était NATO qui était responsable de S21. Parmi Arab ces gens, il y avait from des the Arab musulmans But at that time, they distinguished uh, the prisoners who were insiders or who were internal party members or who were uh, taken from outside. Il n'y avait pas de distinction entre of les those gens 12, qui appartenaient au parti et to. les autres. About how Question many parmi ces 12 000 personnes, about how many of them environ were killed combien before the ont été exécutés avant le 30 mars 1976 approximately. Réponse. Réponse. I perhaps I cannot um, estimate it. Uh, I should uh, refer Je ne peux pas vous donner d'estimation. You to the list. Uh, Je dois to be more precise. Renvoyer I don't want to uh, say something which uh, which is uh, Je my ne speculation. Pas spéculer à ce sujet. Thank you. Question. Your Honor, I would now um, like to ask the witness. Uh, Je voudrais en relation à un nombre de organisations qui sont mentionnées ou des unités mentionnées dans ce document. Et c'est un peu de minutes à 4. Et je pense que les réponses vont nous conduire à des questions de l'understanding de cette unité de la PCK. Donc je pense que nous allons nous poser d'autres questions concernant ces unités du PCK. Peut-être que nous pourrions lever la séance, à moins que vous ne vouliez que je poursuive. The president, could you advise the chamber how much time you need uh, to uh, proceed with the remaining of these um, questions? Uh, the president continues, uh, could the prosecutor advise the court uh, how much time do you temps? need to finish uh, these last few questions? Pour achever? About 15 minutes, Réponse Your Honours. de l'accusation, une quinzaine de minutes. The president, uh, the time uh, proposed uh, is uh, significant. Uh, for that reason, the chamber may adjourn effet. today's session Par and we may proceed with that question, those questions of tomorrow when the Et les morning session resumes at 9 a.m. Demain matin, security personnel are now instructed to bring both uh, the witness and uh, the accused persons to the detention facility les au and have them return to the courtroom et les ramener dans le prétoire tomorrow demain matin by 9 o'clock. Avant 9 the court is adjourned. L'audience est levée.